Hey everyone and welcome back. It's Julianne here and this week I'm back with Hedgehog Hollow featuring another card using some more of the goodies in the July 2020 box. For my card this week I'm creating this slimline card full of the cutest little pug images and to create that I'm using the new Pugs and Kisses stamp set. This is a 6x8 stamp set which includes 8 pug images, 2 dog bowls, and 4 sentiments that coordinate. Also for my card today, I'm going to be using the large frame die that can be found in the Slimline Card Series Frame and Fold die set. So let's get started. I'm going to start out my card today by using the large frame from the Frame and Fold die set to die cut out both some white and black cardstock. I did use Expressive Blending cardstock so that way I could do some Copic coloring later on in this video. And I ran that die through some black cardstock. I totaled up two times, so that way I could stack both of those frames together to give my card that little bit of added dimension. But next, I'm going to start working on stamping all of those cute little pug images that I plan on using in my card today. And I do want them in a row on my card, so I am going to be doing a little bit of masking as well. I'm going to start out by stamping that first pug image using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And once I have him all stamped, I'm then going to mask him off, and then I'm going to start working on stamping my next image. Masking off that first image is going to make it so that in my scene, it's going to look as though that first pug is in front of the rest of the images. So any pug that I'm going to want to look as though they're in the front of the other one, I'm going to be stamping them first and then masking them off before stamping the next pug that is next to them, which is going to make it look as though that second pug is behind him. Once I had that last little pug stamped out, I really felt as though my card was still missing something. So I played around with adding a few different things before finally deciding on using the Puppy Love stamp set from Honey Bee Stamps. And I'm just going to be using that to stamp one of the dog toys that can be found in that stamp set. And again, I'm going to be stamping that down using some more Memento Tuxedo Black ink before I move on. Once I have all of my stamping done, the next step is definitely my favorite when it comes to masking, which is where I finally get to peel back all of those masks and I get to reveal the scene that I've created. Once I have all of those removed, you can definitely see what I was talking about earlier, how some of my images look as though they are in the front, where others look as though they are in the back. The next step in my card today is going to be the coloring, and of course I'm going to be doing some more Copic coloring today. Like usual, I am going to be starting with my lightest shade of each color combination, and I'm going to be working my way out to my darkest and then back down to my lightest. I will make sure to have all of my marker caps off to the side in case you are interested in any of the colors I'm using today, and I'll be right back.
Now that I'm done with all of my Copic coloring, the next step is I'm gonna start working on assembling my card together. I'm gonna start out by adhering both of those black frames that I die cut earlier, and I'm going to be adhering them together using some liquid adhesive. Once I have those adhered, I'm gonna be adhering both of those frames to a piece of white 80 pound card stock, again using some liquid adhesive. And then I'm going to be adhering my colored panel down to that same piece of card stock, but instead of using liquid adhesive, I'm going to be using foam adhesive for this to give my card that little bit of added dimension. Once I have all of those adhered, I'm gonna trim off that excess cardstock that you see, since I just used it as a backer for my background panels and frames. Next, using that same liquid adhesive, I'm going to be adhering down everything to a piece of purple colored cardstock, which is going to act as my card base for my card today. I made sure to make my card base a little bit bigger than my background, that way I could have that really nice border around each side of my card. Finally, the last step in my card today is I'm going to be adhering a few of the Seize the Day confetti mix from Honey Bee Stamps, and I'm going to just be scattering those throughout my background and adhering them down, and that's gonna complete my card. I want to thank you all so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. I truly do appreciate it. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, as well as subscribe for even more card making ideas. All of the supplies I used today will be listed and linked down below in the description if you are interested. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.